Hello again teachers, this is Royston Emmanuel from Saafa Lewis Community College's eLearning Academy. We are happy to present you with another video to help empower you, to help you take control of Google Meet. In this video, we are going to introduce to you a number of very cool Google Chrome extensions that you can use to further enhance your online teaching. We will introduce you to the Chrome Web Store where you can find some really fascinating add-ons for your classroom, for your productivity tools in Google Chrome, but especially in this session we will look at extensions for Google Meet. So we need you to take some time, scroll down to the description for this video. You will be able to find the links to some of the tools that we are going to be talking about. Okay guys, so let's start by talking about the Google Chrome Store. The, the, the Chrome Web Store is an excellent place to go to find about just any add-on, any addition that can help you enhance whatever you do in Google Workplace. Now, I think for teachers, this is an excellent opportunity to find ways or workarounds when it comes to some other things you need to do in your Google Classroom, in Google Workspace for Education, and especially in Google Meet. So today, we're going to look at two excellent add-ons that really help make our work easier. So the first add-on we're going to look at is attendance for Google Meet. Now when you think about it, you know, you start those Google Meet sessions and I know and I've heard from some teachers that they basically call a register, which is good because it encourages, you know, social presence, students will talk so you know that they're there. But it is not always an excellent way of collecting data. It can be extremely tedious at times. So the attendance for Google Meet is actually an automated way of collecting students' attendance data and actually sharing that attendance data with you in the end. So I love this tool and we're going to talk about this in a little while. The other tool I am absolutely fascinated by is a tool called Dual Less. Now, Think of your situation when you're trying to share your screen with your students. Teachers using one monitor, if you have one screen, which is usually what the case is, find it's very difficult to maneuver between the screen sharing and what you actually need to manipulate as you share the screen. So I'm hoping that Dualess will be an excellent solution for you. Okay, guys, so we, before we install our add-ons, there are just one of you two things that you should know. One, that those add-ons work with Google Chrome because they are Google Chrome extensions. So the idea is that you should be using Google Chrome to run your Google Meet sessions if you want those extensions to work. Now we're not going to search for those extensions because there are so many extensions out there. So you might find 10 attendants for Google Meet, which all are quite different. So I want you to pay close attention to the links that we place in the description. So here I have on this screen, actually the extension that we're looking for. It's called attendance for Google Meet. Now, how do you add this extension to your Google Chrome. It is extremely simple. All you need to do is maneuver to this button here, Add Chrome, click Add Chrome, okay? And of course, you will get a notification asking you to add the extension. So all you need to do is click Add Extension, okay? And in a few seconds, the extension will be added. So this is the attendance for Meet extension, okay? Now, if you do not see your extension in 
your navbar okay you need to simply go to this icon right here okay click on it and what you're going to do now is simply pin the extension and by pinning what we mean we're just going to be placing it right up here so you just need to go to the pin right here this is google this is attendance for google meet you go to the pin you click on it and it will find its way in this area because this is where you need it so it can work so this is how we install our extensions so let us have a look at how this works notice i have started my google meet session okay i have no one in this session as yet so that's all right what i'm going to do since i was i am waiting for my attendees and this is something you could do way before all i need to do is to navigate to my attendance for google meet extension click on it and i can get started so there are a number of well just one or two key areas i need to check so um export on leave i i, I would i would like this to send me the spreadsheet when the meeting is done i can set the time that students can be considered as present so, so a student can be considered as present if i have a 30 minute session the student may be considered as present let's see after 10 minutes makes sense so let's change this here to 10 minutes okay and i can leave it as wipe wipe data every 12 hours that is just by default what it simply means is that it just it just clears up this the google meet okay but um but remember your data remains in the spreadsheet that it that the the, the add-on will send to you okay so now that i've configured it i'm just going to click again for it to disappear then i'm going to scroll down to my navigation bar right here and i'm going to search for the attendance icon which is right here i'm going to click on this icon and i am going to add some very critical information that information of course involves my classes and of course my class list but that might seem a little tedious at the beginning but it really isn't because you could just copy and paste the most important thing is to just create those classes so i'm going to add just one class and that class i'll call it my demo class okay and i'm going to go and add my students so i'm going to invite i have two students in this class my first student is e-learning s-a-l-c-c -C. first name e-learning surname s-a-l-c-c -C. my second student is s-a-l-c-c -C student okay so first name s-a-l-c-c -C, second name student okay now that I have that, all I need to do is save. Okay? So I have saved it. My demo class is saved. If I click on it, I will see my students and it will tell me that my students are not yet here. So now that I have done that, I'm just going to close this and I am going to wait for my students to enter the session. Okay, so my students are now in the class. So let us check what my attendance register is saying so i'm going to go down to the attendance icon right here and i'm going to click and it shows me that the students have not joined but that is okay because remember i set the system so that the students will be marked present after 10 minutes and you know i did it for a reason because a student can simply come on and log off and can be marked present okay if we do not set the timing correctly so let us fast forward okay so 10 minutes has passed okay let us see what our attendance register says so we click on attendance again and we notice that it says that the students have joined it shows the time that they have joined and of course there is a green check next to each of them which says clearly that they are
present. Now the beauty of the attendance feature here is that you could also remove the students from the class directly from here. So I can go to this icon right here and I can click on it and it will remove the student from the class. And of course, I can add the student back. Now, when I say remove the student from the class, I don't mean remove the student from the Google Meet. I mean that sometimes the wrong student may have entered based on our own security features, and so we do not want to add the student to the register. So our class has been going on for a while and it must come to an end. So the question is what happens when we end the class? So I'm going to end the class. Okay, I'm going to end it. And all we need to do is simply wait and notice at the bottom of our screen we have a message saying that the Google Meet, that the attendance register has been successfully exported. So how do we find this data? Answer, it is very simple. Remember, Google Workplace for Education is a set of integrated tools. So this data will reside in your Google Sheets. All you have to do, you open a tab, okay, you go to the Google Apps, click on Sheets, and you should find your attendance for Meet spreadsheet dated. So that will tell you which one you, you need. Click on it and it will open up, of course, the attendance register. Let's have a look at what the register says. So it gives us the last name of the student, the first name of the student. It tells us whether the student was present or not. It tells us the time the student entered the session and of course the time the student left the session, the number of times the student may have joined the session because the student may have had connectivity issues and so had to log in and log out. And of course it gives you a sense of the number of minutes that the student was present in the session. Importantly too, it dates the session for you, tells you when the session took place and of course it shares with you the meeting link. That for me is just an excellent tool because it just takes the hassle of collecting that data away from the teacher. So the next add-on we're going to look at is one called Dual-Less. Now I absolutely love Dual-Less Reason being, it solves a problem that all of us are having. We have one computer, we have one screen, we don't have multiple monitors, yet we need to share our screens with our students. Now that can be extremely tedious because you have to just maneuver back and forth between you know, your, your Google Meet session and the screen you're sharing and that can get extremely confusing at times. So I took some time to research what are the best tools to help solve this issue. And I came up with Dual Less, and of course, you can find more, and hopefully, maybe you could share that with us in the comments you know, section you know, of this video. Um, but I do think that Dual Less actually does an excellent job. Remember, we will add the link to this add-on in our description. So, let us get right into installing Dual Less. And again, very simple. All we need to do is go to the button here that says Add to Chrome. Click Add to Chrome. We add the extension. And of course, it should find its way to our nav bar. Okay? So, if it doesn't show up automatically, we simply need to click on this icon here, the extensions icon and we go to the dual less extension and we pin it so it is always in our nav bar. So let's have a look at how this extension 
called jewelless works okay so this is my google meet screen i'm not sharing anything but normally if i wanted to share i would have to go down to the present now option i'll click on it i would go to window i will find a window that i would like to share okay and of course i will present but the problem is in order to do anything here I need now to find this window which is becoming very tedious as you can see okay and that is the only way I can maneuver the slides or whatever it is I am sharing with my students so jewelless helps out the situation by giving you options to split your screen into different two portions of different sizes it's really your choice so let us see how this works i'm just going to go up to the jewelless extension click on it and you notice that we have different ratios we have a three to seven six to four to six five to five which is of course equal um, screens um, six to four seven to three and then of course we have the option to go back to one screen we can also um, make the windows horizontal or vertical um, we're, going, we're going to keep them as they are set here by default it's easier to navigate so I'm going to simply select the 5x5 five because five, I want equal windows equally sized windows I'm going to click on it notice automatically it splits my screen into two windows I have my Google Meet window here and I have another Chrome window right here so I'm just going to navigate to the presentation that I want to use and of course my presentation is in Google Slides and I just want to advise teachers that for a seamless experience try creating your presentations and documents etc with the Google Workplace for Education tools um, Slides is an excellent um, tool to use for presentations and so I think it just makes a lot of sense to use what we already have okay so I have my presentation set up in slides all I need to do now is to go to present okay I am going to I can present a tab or window I'll choose tab because maybe my my slides my Google slides um, may have video and audio that I want to share so I'm going to select tab and I'm going to click on the tab that I need which is of course the 21st century classroom this is what I want to share and of course I'm going to leave the option to share tab audio checked I'm going to share and immediately I'm able to share so I'm presenting to the class so now I can actually maneuver my presentation from here but I can still see what is happening in my class I can see my students I can actually see um, who is there I can see if they have raised their hands if they have questions and so I do not have to always keep worrying about maneuvering between the presentation and the Google Classroom okay so I do feel that I mean this is just an excellent tool that really and truly relieves us of a lot of the hassle of screen sharing another important feature is also the ability to resize your screens while you're sharing and that's very important so you are sharing but you want to see more of your Google Meet screen that's not a problem you go to the jewelless extension and you can just change the dimensions so now I have more of my Google Meet screen showing okay and of course my presentation is smaller but I can still maneuver it I can still maneuver it it is not a problem I can go back here and I can actually change it where I have again I actually still have more of my Google Meet screen but my presentation has moved to the other side okay I can go ahead and change it further okay by using the 7 by 3 again and lastly 
um, if I am done sharing, I can simply go back to the option to simply see one screen and this is it. I mean, I don't know about you, I just think that this is truly a game changer. Teachers, I hope that you've been empowered by this short demonstration. If you need any video or explanation of any other tool in Google Meet or in your Google Classroom, you could just type it up in the, in the comment section. We will take you up on it and try to create a video to help you. So again, guys, I know we can do this. I mean, it is not an easy task, but we are getting there. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.